Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss how you can get the frequency response of a filter. So like in case of one dimensional signal we have seen that uh, to get the frequency response we can use frequency or FFT also we can use to compute the frequency response that is magnitude phase part okay. Now in case of image as this is two dimensional because pixel intensity varies with respect to x and y both direction so the function will be changed by a small amount that is one two has to be written after frequency okay syntax easy to remember if you can remember frequency then as this is two dimensional so two that's all then give your filter okay you it may be any Laplacian filter or uh, Gaussian filter or uh, um, mean smoothing filter or median filter whatever okay right so frequency to compute two dimensional frequency response okay so it is bit slower obviously if you compute using FFT2 that will be uh, faster than this one and uh, uh, suppose you are writing like this h comma f1 comma f2 then f1 and f2 will be frequency range for x and y okay uh, direction and that will be normalized in nature like i have shown you while discussing one dimensional signal that omega while plotting what we do omega by pi that is we normalize or divide with respect to pi right here also same f1 and f2 normalized frequencies minus 1 to 1 so like in case of one dimensional signal i have told you the map at least two pi range you have to plot to get the complete response so in this case it is from minus pi to pi so if you normalize with respect to pi you will be getting minus one to one so minus one representing minus pi and one representing pi that's all very simple right so let us check one application of that suppose let me write clc clear all close all then i am writing one filter okay suppose i am taking uh, min smoothing filter 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 that's all and then star 1 by 9 okay so this is our min smoothing filter if i write frequency 2 of h let us check what output we are getting if i run this particular part see one beautiful image you will be getting which is basically the frequency response of the mean smoothing filter if you just observe see you can understand that this is nothing but a low pass filter if you carefully observe the uh, coordinates are this is magnitude of filter that is uh, what is the factor of amplification which frequencies it will pass which frequencies it will attenuate that idea you can get from the magnitude this is fx that is frequency change with respect to x and this is fy frequency change with respect to y so initially while discussing uh, one dimensional signal we have taken only one frequency component but here both in x direction as well in as well as in y direction frequency change is possible like uh, i have shown you while discussing edge detection that we take derivative with respect to both x direction y direction right so like the same way here we will be getting this kind of three dimensional response and as you can see both frequency ranging from minus 1 to 1 and here f y also minus 1 to 1. So at the central that is see 0 and 0 here we are getting peak okay. So it clearly indicates it passes low frequency but as, as you keep on going towards higher frequency in either in fx or in fy both direction see the magnitude response is decreasing so we can say that this is low pass filter because it is attenuating the high frequency component so we have seen low pass filter now if we don't see one high pass filter that will be obviously one injustice right so let us check one high pass filter also so one example of high pass filter which i have already shown you can you tell me what we have already studied in our previous video that is Laplacian filter which uses second order derivative of an image to get the uh, edge okay so uh, 0 1 0 1 minus 4 1 and then 0 1 0 let us check whether we are getting Laplacian filter as high pass filter or not as I have told you that Laplacian filter detects edges and edges are basically high frequency component of an image because they are rapid change of intensity is there and rapid change means high frequency 
so laplacian filter is high frequency filter so what we should get we should get a uh, lower magnitude at the central part that is 0 0 or near to that and as we keep on going towards minus 1 1 in both the uh, fx and fy we we'll, we should get high magnitude in the frequency response let us check see as discussed in the theory same exactly it is matching just let me just click rotate 3d so that you can clearly understand see if you just observe this way see at yeah see when the frequency is close to zero then here there is valley okay you can clearly understand see 3d try to visualize here there is 3d uh, sorry valley so that means it is attenuating those magnitude are lesser but as we keep on going to minus one or one the magnitude response increases that means this is nothing but high pass filter this is how you can visualize the frequency response of uh, filter which are used in image processing okay just simple thing to remember frequency 2 instead of frequency frequency 2 and if you uh, like write like this that is f1 comma f2 like this three output parameters if you want what you will be having you will be getting f1 and f2 with respect to x and y direction frequency but that is normalized with respect to pi that's all this is all for this particular video and if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching